Yeah, man. Alright, I'll make a tutorial. In before it fucks up again. Alright guys, this is a new setup for Watchers Skip. The current Watchers Skip has a problem that I've seen. I've had the problems with it. And other runners have had problems with it as well. But, um, yeah, I'll show you now what's wrong with the current one. With the current one, you have to come in here and line up your mouse, uh, your health bar, just to the right of this can, just to the left of this right candle here. Pretty much like, see that, it's way more precise than the one I'm about to show you, but you have to put it in the hair, and then you have to tap W, so your body turns like this. But the problem is, is if, if you tap W too hard, your character moves just like this, so it can fuck up the angle completely. Now with this angle, this lineup I'm using, you come against this wall, walk, run against it, and where my health bar is now, there's a rock just to the right of it, if you can see it. Right now, just to the right of it, you can see it. And there's another rock just to the left of it, where my health bar is on now. So there's two, like, black rocks that you can tell from different from the others. So you've got this black rock and then this black rock on the right. Now, you want to keep your health bar always on the left of this right black rock. So make sure it's always on the left of this one. If you go too far like this, it'll probably foul. I haven't tested insanely much with this one, but if you stay to the left of it, and even here, even around here, it will still work. So your health bar doesn't have to be completely precise. You can do this with your controller. So it's a lot quicker than the other setup. So you can come in here, make sure you're running against the wall. And you want to line up your health bar. Like that, that'll work as well. It doesn't matter how high or low, as long as you've got it in line. And make sure it's just here. And as soon as you come in, run against this wall. Make sure your health bar's just about here. It doesn't really matter too much. And then you want to hold W straight away with a charged R2. Make sure you hold W on your keyboard straight away. If you don't do it straight away, it'll foul. And then tap R2 rather than a charged R2. And then reload, and you'll be in the fight. It's really important that you hold W straight away as soon as you hold R2. Otherwise, it'll foul. If you hold it, if you press W a little bit too late, your character will change position. So it won't be precise. So this will put you in the fight. Same as the other version just from the left side of it and it's a lot quicker like I'll show you different attempts of me doing it really quickly without really lining up my health bar the main the main like the most important thing is holding W If you look at my camera there, it wasn't lined up really precisely. But it still worked. It should still work. Doesn't matter how... It's not like high or low. It's just a little bit to the left of that rock. And not too far to the left. And it'll work as long as you hold W straight away. It'll put you in the fight. I'll show you another time. This saves you having to line up with your mouse and having to tap W. This will just be like 100% if you can do it quick enough. You don't even even have to do it really quick, you can just... The only thing you have to be quick on is holding W on your keyboard straight away pretty much. See, look how quick this is. That's me not lining up at all really. Just having the general direction of them, them uh, landmarks and holding W straight away. And then tapping R2 after you've reset your position after the charged R2. Same as the old version, just from a different angle now. So there you go, I'm in the fight again. This is really good. It's a lot faster and more pro uh, more consistent than the other one, I'd say. So yeah, thanks for watching. There you go, guys. Tutorial that actually worked. Feels good, man.